Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Radar. Special K, and this is What's the Difference. It's been a while. It has. Um, so we're going to do Michelob Amberbach. We have Draft Michelob Amberbach because I have a keg over there. Hey, hey. Um, it's good to have a kegerator. And then we have a bottle of Michelob Amberbach. It does not come in cans yet. I hope to see Michelob yes. Amberbach in cans one day. Uh, Amberbach is a percentage of alcohol by volume. It's some. Uh, it seems to be 5.1%, which there is you go. pretty respectable. Let me have a little of that. Now, we all know that draft is probably going to be better than cans. But a lot of people do actually... tend to like draft more than cans or bottles. All right, so the Sierra Nevada glass right here is our draft, mm -hmm. and the uh, slightly larger Guinness Schmidtwick's glasses are bottled. Now, color. There is a color difference there. There is, and it's... It's in the body of the beer. It's also in the head. Look at the yeah. head of your beer. Yeah, slightly. The head is definitely more creamy than the draft beer. That's, I didn't pour it super hard, but even so, you're going to have well, a better head from draft anyway. The bottle is also a little bit darker than the draft. Yeah, it is. And that probably has to do with the pasteurization process. Mm, I, it, it could also be the fact that we, we purchased these at different times, but... That is kind of a low probability in my opinion just because our keg's probably two months old. Michelob does a Michelob does a pretty good job of keeping Amberbach the same the same uh, flavor and consistency. I would assume that the color, like I said, it's more than likely due to pasteurization because it is getting boiled in the bottle. So um, let's go ahead and take a taste of the uh, bottle first. That's delicious Amberbach. A little bit of caramel, yeah. a little malt, a tiny bit of hot bite. I mean, very subtle, yeah. good carbonation bite. A little bit of sharp carbonation in there. It's a little bready. Gonna go with the draft now. I had to go back, I enjoyed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. This seems a little bit, a little bit flatter. Not flat it's, as in it's not uncarbonated. Fair. It's not fair. Mm. Mellow. How I many think times is the right have you word. had, uh, realistically, how many times have you had a draft and a uh, bottle right next to each other? It doesn't like, happen it's very often. Cool. It's kind of cool. Um, so, right off the bat, draft is definitely more mellow. Um, it doesn't quite have that hard carbonation burn at the front, mm -hmm. not quite has that hoppiness. It does, however, have a strong malty presence. It's much more malty than the bottle does. Yeah. It's the back end. Yeah. You know, mm. we, we haven't done this very many times. We did it with PBR, I think. But I think, I think this is a little bit sweeter. Like, try it for sweetness. I'm not to disagree. The only thing, like the big difference is, there's a huge difference in carbonation, obviously. Um, but this, like, it's slightly more bitter, has a slightly stronger carbonation. This is just so much smoother and easy going. The draft version. Yeah. They're both delicious. Like it's Amberbach. It's it's going to be delicious. But it's it's odd that they're so obviously different. Yeah. Like I I knew in my brain that they were going to be different. I guess I just wasn't prepared for them to actually be different. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the draft is just, it's its so much better. Like, like I said, that strong malty flavor. I almost get a little bit of corn in there maybe towards the back end on the draft version. I'm assuming they probably use a filler in this. Um, but the, uh, the uh, bottled version... Hmm. It's actually it's, got a little bit more of a grassiness to it, the bottle. Uh -huh. It's got a little bit more grassiness. It's got a little bit more of an aggressive, um, an aggressive twang from the from the uh, carbonation. Yeah, I agree. No you know that. what you get when you get a, a beer on tap, right? It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be out of a keg. It's not gonna be pasteurized. You're gonna wind up with uh, it's it's a little bit smoother. Most of the time. Most of the time, not every time. Like I said, I do know some people that do prefer um, bottles over draft. And that's, like mentioned this earlier, that's a case for like light beers. 
Pipe mm-hmm. beers tend to be better. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they tend to be better uh, in bottles. But I think for like especially like these styles of beer, uh, I think they're just better um, in draft form. Now, granted, they don't last as long this way, and it's not practical to have a keg with you. But if you have the option, like at a restaurant, to get draft or bottle, if it's not Bud Light, Miller Light, or Michelob Ultra, you should always you just get always get draft. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know what? This is a little bit more acidic now that I'm thinking about it. The uh, bottle, yeah, mm-hmm. I can see that. I don't know if it's uh, if it's a a carbonation bite. No, I don't think it's a carbonation bite. It's just more acidic. You know, I didn't realize this before, but after drinking Ultra, or sorry, not Ultra, but Amberbach after a while, it does a really good job of picking up that German grassiness that you get in a lot of bottles mm-hmm. and German style lagers. They're like, both fairly grassy, yeah, I'll agree. But you know, uh, I didn't realize, like, now that they're warmed up a little bit, so they've been sitting for a second, I didn't realize how much that grassy flavor comes through when they're warmed up and how much, uh, you know, that's a really common flavor in, like I said, German lagers. You know, I think, it's a, I think that's a, uh, a feature of beer that a lot of people overlook. Just not even specifically with this beer, but with beer in general. It, it changes drastically as you let it sit and sort of get to know the air. It, uh, it warms up, it changes a little bit. And you know, as far as like drinking vessels go, like it's always gonna be draft for me. Draft straight from the brewery if I can get it, if wow. I'm from a restaurant or somewhere. <laughs> um, but then it's going to be probably uh, Crowlers, obviously, which are similar, it's still draft. Um, but then I'm going to go with like cans. Cans are just superior vessels. A lot of people tend to like bottles better. Yeah. But there's too many problems that can happen with bottles, in my opinion. Yeah, you wind up with some with some pretty serious aftermarket defects with can or with bottles that you uh, you won't wind up with as often in bottles or in cans now a lot of people uh like 10 or 15 years or 15 or 20 years ago cans they were not superior vessels there was issues with um um like metal flavor in the beers that's before they started mm-hmm. conditioning the cans and like coating the cans so it doesn't have that uh yeah metal yeah. flavor now it's like that's that why spray, so that spray coat on the inside of the can is really important to yeah. maintaining flavor. That's why those craft breweries, a lot of them uh, do cans. Like I said, and they keep it away from the light. And that's a similar thing with, like, what I'm going into with uh, kegs. I mean, they're there's no, they're never exposed huh. to any light. Yeah. That beer no. is never you, you exposed can't get to any light, light into the with into this. That. At some point, it's getting exposed to a light. Yeah. And with some beers, less a little, you know, even four to six hours can really ruin a beer. Like a Corona, if a Corona sits out in direct oh, oh light man. for four hours, it's ruined. You have to get canned Corona. You yeah. can't get bottled Corona. But a lot uh, of people like that just work nasty out for ass gum flavor. But anyway, uh, <laughs> if you like this episode and you want to see us do more draft beers uh, versus bottled or cans on the show, let us know in the comments down below. If you want to help support the channel, you can on our Patreon. We also have a Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to see dumb pictures of the crew. Um, <laughs> maybe some brewery stuff. Um, just extra stuff. On the yeah, a little bit of extra. But that's been our episode. Thanks for watching.